Hey y'all, hope everyone is doing well. Thank you for tuning in, I appreciate it. So today, I got some Transformers here, and my good buddy Dan from Nice Junk, I'll link his YouTube channel in the description, he sent me a hatchet. And so today, I'm going to test out to see how well the hatchet will cut through Transformers. So, we've got four pounds of Transformers right here, and the average price in the U.S. is 31 cents a pound. So that is a $1.24 as it is. Let's see how well the hatchet will do and if we can make more money than a $1.24. Okay, so I got my safety glasses. I've got this towel down just to help protect the blade once it goes through so it doesn't just hit straight on the steel. I need to find a piece of leather would probably work really well but this will work do for today i'd say that works pretty darn good little one man that works really nice. Let's try this bigger one here. Lickety split. Okay, as you can see, they're all split in half. The hatchet did a fantastic job. The blade looks just fine. So this is my thoughts on this compared to the machete. I think the machete cuts through it faster because it has a thinner blade and it's sharper. But the huge advantage of the, of the hatchet is all this nice thick steel that I can beat on with a hammer. Inevitably, I believe the machete will probably eventually crack with me beating on it with a hammer for so much. But this hatchet, this is going to be incredibly durable. So, so far, I, I'm really impressed. Now we got to get this mess cleaned up. You just pop them out of the steel. Ain't no thing but a chicken wang. Okay, so we've got all the steel here, but this stuff still needs to be processed. And it ain't too bad. I just like to use an ice pick. It's got a nice little fine point to it. You just start peeling all this good copperness out of there. Obviously, you got to remove this, this tape, which is no big deal. And if anything sticks to it, I just take it straight down and I kind of just push the copper and I can grab it and be on my merry way. Very merry way with all this good copper goodness.
All right, got it all done. There's a nice copper and the steel. That wasn't too bad. I really like the hatchet. I think that's awesome. All right, so the numbers. We've got around 11 ounces of copper. So that's just, that's around $2 right there. Now, my yard will pay me prepared number one for this stuff, but a lot of yards, they only give you shred. So we've got 51 ounces of steel, and at shred price, this would be 25 cents, giving us a grand total of $2.25, which is a dollar more than I started with. As a hobby scrapper, I'll take that all day, every day. Now, if your yard gives you prepared number one, instead of this being 25 cents, it would be 32 cents. There we have it. Conclusion. The hatchet works amazing with small transformers. And because of all this thick steel, I think I will continue to use this instead of the machete. Thank you, Nice Junk. I appreciate this gift. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button as it does help this video and I really appreciate it. Thank you to all of my subscribers. I just thank you so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, I'd ask that you consider to subscribe. I'd love to have you here. Thank you God for a wonderful day. Oh, I just praise your good name, Father. Thank you, thank you God. Lord, I lift up my friend to you right now. He knows who he is. And he's going through a really, really hard time. So God, I'm just praying for him. And I'm just asking that you will please help him. Because he needs your help, God. I believe you are the only one who can help him. So I lift him up to you now. And I pray over him now. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Alright, y'all. I'll see you in the next video.